guys, this is Jean from Happy Indulgence. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite Love Oz YA reads of 2017. Part of the Love Oz YA community are booktubers, book bloggers, publishers, authors, and readers, and I think everyone is super wonderful. I love supporting our local authors by reading books from a variety of genres and they're also super talented which is a plus as well so this year there's been a lot of great reads I know the year hasn't finished yet so there might be more that I'll be adding by the end of the year so this is just what I've read so far so the first one I'm going to talk about is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada I have just finished this book and it is absolutely fantastic it's about a deadly virus overtaking the humans and they use gene therapy to try and prevent it from happening in humans and they're trying to find a cure from it and it's about this girl who has a deadly virus inside her but gene therapy and advanced technology helps ward it off for her so this book completely blew me away I haven't heard too much about it in the blogosphere lately but it's about gene manipulation it's about science it's about futuristic technology and how it can tie into your DNA and into your genes and control anything from how you look to what emotions you experience and there's also a lot of twists and turns in here that I didn't see coming, some that I did, but there's also zombies and a plague. And I just read at the back that Emily Savada was born in Australia and she actually studied astrophysics and mathematics and it really comes through in this book. But all the scientific explanations were absolutely fantastic and they just made sense. And that's part of why I love this book. It was just thrilling from start to finish and definitely one of my favorite Love Us YA books of this year. The next one is Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I read this when I was away on holidays and it was absolutely fantastic. This book is described as a combination of Tomb Raider and Lara Croft but in space and it's definitely a lot like that. I just love the way both of the main characters in this story were written and the witty banter that they share. I love Jules and how he loves science and how he gets excited about alien technology and the possibilities of research and studying them. And I also loved Mia who is a raider and she's actually really good at thinking on her feet and getting them out of sticky situations. So uh, there's a lot of aliens in here, a lot of advanced technology, there's alien puzzle to solve in a tomb and I just found it absolutely thrilling. This writing duo definitely creates the best banter and the best relationships especially when it's hate to love and I love the way their relationship progressed in this series so I cannot wait till the next one and I also can't wait to see Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner for their Unearthed launch down in Australia later this year. Another book that I read this year that's definitely underrated is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. And this book definitely screams of fangirling and fun. And that's what I really loved about it. One of the main characters is a Chinese Australian YouTuber who actually gets to go to a convention. And that definitely is something that I can relate to. And uh, she gets to go to like a convention that's a bit like Comic-Con and it's all about embracing your geekery and it also has fantastic representation. It's very empowering as well. The main character, she's bisexual as well and I love how this was explored as part of her character. There's also a squad here and they are best friends with each other which is fantastic and it also explores one girl who has social anxiety. So it was relatable on a whole heap of levels and I really enjoyed Queens of Geek. The next book is Take Three Girls by Kath Crowley, Simone Howe and Fiona Wood. This book explores online bullying and the consequences of creating a website that can be really misogynist and that spreads harmful rumors about teenagers and I thought it was a very apt book about today's day and age. Online bullying is really hard to get rid of and really hard to target, but that's definitely what they tried to do in this school. 
these three girls have to be a part of wellness class and they learn about you know embracing positivity they learn about empowerment they learn about realizing who your real friends are they usually don't hang in each other's groups but just from the way they supported each other they listened to each other and they were there for one another you really learned that that's what real friendship is and that was actually hard for one of the girls who's one of the popular girls and she's totally over the fakeness of the friendships that she fosters it explores so many important topics like feminism, misogyny and fighting it, also first love and how it may not always turn out, and also a hate to love relationship. So there's a lot of things that I really loved about Take Three Girls and I thought it was just such a positive and uplifting book. Last book that is my favorite Love Oswire of the year is definitely God's Grave by Jay Kristoff and this is definitely for the older YA crowd. I absolutely love Nevernight which is the first book that was released last year but this one is about a uh, assassin girl who goes into a gladiator arena and has to fight all these deadly beasts as a slave and as always it's brutal it's gory it's bloody but it's so absolutely sarcastic and hilarious and it was so exhilarating I loved every moment of God's Grave including the footnotes the banter between the cat and the wolf daemon and Mia is just such a feminist character she's just brutal she's brooding but she's also really compassionate as well and that's something that you don't really expect to see from an assassin so I absolutely loved God's Grave too. So these five books are part of my top five Love Oswaye books of 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks to the YA room for including me on your channel. I really appreciate it. And you guys are absolutely awesome for everything that you do in the Love Oz YA community. So thanks guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.